what is the topic uh, we have to design a hangar for the airplane and then we need a shell structure uh, for the first uh, cross-section which we want to check uh, we see that it's just linear and we have to uh, find the thickness of the steel plate which would fulfill the criteria and the criteria is that the global deformation will be smaller than 10 centimeters okay how to do it in a robot we can of course go for the 3d but first we will just try to make it as fast as possible uh, so i will just uh, turn on the robot and uh, then uh, we will be checking it in uh, as a beam, which has got a uh, one meter uh, width. And uh, then I go for the 2D design. And I have to uh, draw the arch. Since uh, I would like to have, a, um, if I go for the AutoCAD file, we see that the um, the um, pressure from the wind is divided into four um, or three spheres, uh, three um, areas. First is the pressure, and then it's uh, pressure with plus, and then pressure with minus, which is just sucking the structure. And we have to create somehow these uh, divisions on our structure. So what I suggest uh, is just to operate on the axis system. We have this, uh, I, I just create this axis system. For example, uh, from here to here, it will be meters, of course, and from here, sorry, from here, here it will be 15 meters something uh, so let's create this in robot we just uh, create zero then we create um for 23 uh for 23 we create uh, just 10 and then we create uh, just uh, 1577 uh 1577 and then we have all our uh, x-axis and then let's go for the z uh, zero of course and then what is the height uh, the height of the structure is of course eight meters like it is in the task and uh, so we will just create eight meters here okay. and i have already uh, no i'm missing one thing because i would like to also know what is the distance from here to here it's 622 then when i go for the axis system and see i need just to add 6 uh, 0.22 apply, then i have all i need uh, okay so then uh, what i need it's just the Mm, the geometry and when i go for the geometry and go for the objects and arc here we i am choosing begin uh, middle end go for the uh, parameters and then i am choosing arc discretization you already know that you have to create pretty big discretization if you want to have uh, accurate uh, yes uh, <clears throat> accurate uh, result so 100 it's something which is uh, relevant uh, in our case i create already bars and uh, yeah that's i think all i just click apply or just one two and three okay and then uh, i see i can easily find where is not maybe exactly but uh, i see where is um, different uh, where i will be putting different pressure okay the structure is already done almost i have to create just pinned pinned connection at the end and then i have to go for the loads uh, types i create of course that load with the self weight i also add the snow and i also create a wind just three uh, of course in the instruction will be more but it's not about uh, um, specifically done uh, analysis it's just about the principles if we go for the load definition uh, let's start from the simplest one from the snow and go for your task uh, in your task you see that 
snow it's minus two kilonewton per square meter and it's projected load so let's go here and go for the bar and not this one this one and here when i type global minus two kilonewton per meter there because we will create one meter long uh, width of the cross section so it can be uh, minus two and then projected load if i mark uh, if i click add and then apply to all we have already done the snow now the little bit different one that wind uh, if i go one more time here then let's check uh, what is told in our topic it's plus 0.25 so let's go for the bar uh, let's go for the z but this time let's go for the local and uh, if it's minus or plus we can either check uh, and then we see that plus it's outside so we have to do minus like is it but uh, 25 and let's uh, apply to just mark uh, like that okay then uh, we need to apply different load we have to go for the bar and we have to give 0 0,5 in the local system on the top so here i am just deleting this and going for uh, one more time from here to here from 29 to uh, 72 if i click apply i see that i have uh, i have this uh, pressure on uh, the top and then i need to also add 0 0,2 on the uh, last so uh, i can even type here from 73 to 100 Oops. Of, uh, the, let's uh, see yeah it's looking uh, reasonable it's wind and then what's next um the cross section uh, cross section uh, we will on the beginning start to investigate our cross section um, from the steel parametric one click here on solid solid it will create um, yeah you see what it's creating b it's the width uh, so let's change it to 1000 let's make it one meter wide <coughs> if we go for the height uh, let's start from one millimeter and uh, let's just type steel plate Uh, here I maybe should change the steel to S355, but it's uh, okay. It's, it's the same Yank modules for the steel and the steel S355, so it will not influence our results. Then uh, let's run the analysis if everything is fine. And let's go for the deformation. We see that it's uh, 265 millimeter for only the wind. If we go for the self weight, um it's seven and for the snow it's 284 it's not so bad uh i will oh sorry uh i didn't i think uh yeah it was too good uh of course it's a different cross section it's still the glue num. i didn't click uh, apply to all so i have to check steel plate click all and click apply yes it will change and right now you see how thin it is and probably yeah it's uh, 70 750 meters of deformation it's for sure cannot be like that uh probably it's uh yeah it's just uh, <laughs> on a physical solution so let's hear um go for the cross section let's create a little bit different cross section i will just uh, edit this one then it was of course two uh, let's go for one centimeter 
and uh, click add let's add also two centimeters let's uh, do also uh, four and let's maybe do eight centimeters and uh, the last one the uh, and then we have some database uh, database which we can change let's check for this one click uh, yes and we see the cross sections and bigger but before we will start the calculations go for the manual combination create suls combination which we will uh, just call the combination um, ULS. Okay, then we will just put it everything there. Click apply and close. And we will also create a SLS combination for the deformation. Go for the new. Uh, here change to SLS and here just type SLS. I will just with shift mark this one and we see the coefficients are one so it's uh, okay and click close here we have this combination ULS and SLS and let's run the calculation right now uh, we see that the deformation are much much smaller let's go for the SLS deformations it's 31 millimeters which uh, it's a little bit too small we were looking for something close to the 100 millimeters so we have to adjust uh, Okay, so this is uh, how we are uh, adjusting. Uh, it's like very quick shot to to our uh, to to conceptual phase of our uh, designing. If we want to go to check the backlink, uh, we will just create another uh, manual combination. Uh, let's click new. Let's call it uh, backlink because uh, we know that backlink can be a critic uh, thing uh, for our analysis let's uh, check uh, sls then let's go for the three of them and click uh, apply and then let's uh, also create a, a non-linear uh, And let's also uh, add this three two. Okay, and then uh, run the analysis. Go for the um, analysis type, and let's go for the backlink. Let's change analysis type to backlink. Yes, it will influence on the results. Number of modes then should be enough for this uh, simple arch. Uh, let's click OK and let's go for the nonlinear uh, ULS and check uh, for the large deformation. Here should be also fine. We will see what will the calculations say. Let's run it. Yeah, it wasn't a heavy task. Uh, let's check the results. Uh, first of all, let's check uh, the diagrams for bars. Let's check the deformation, parameters, labels. Uh, let's click uh, apply. We see that we have 47 millimeters. Um, let's uh, firstly check uh, uh, combination uh, SLS or maybe combination ULS it's 43 and when we go for the nonlinear ULS we have 47 so it's just three millimeters more it will it's it's not much and uh, that's uh, why we can um, change the thickness uh, of the uh, steel plate because it's ridiculously uh, big uh, so you should go as far as possible to 100 millimeters, but on the nonlinear ULS, which is uh, more conservative uh, in this solution because it's giving bigger uh, deformation. If we go for the results and advance and the critical loads, uh, we see that uh, our coefficient is 